Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Thursday morning, December 3rd. <laughs> good morning to you. I hope you have a great day today. Uh, we do have some storms today, as you can see, for Louisiana. All the way to snow going on in Oklahoma. We got Arkansas. We got Illinois. Now, this is early this morning. Now, these storms will be moving as the day goes along. And at noon today, it's going to be a problem for Mississippi as well. All this is going to move all the way to the east and this is going to be days of issues now as we get into late this afternoon it becomes a, a rain band line as you can see straight line winds and it's going to move all the way across it's moving all the way across alabama by by tomorrow morning and it's going to be moving across fast so once it gets around noon time it's all the way away from alabama but now it's affecting tennessee north carolina west virginia south carolina georgia even portions of florida now all this uh, severe rain is what I'm, I call it. It's going to be a lot of, of rain falling. It's going to be going towards New York, and that's going to be a big storm, and there is some snow that's going to be falling up there. But as you can see, just for South Carolina alone, all the way to 5 p.m., you're still going to be in storms. North Carolina, you're still going to be in storms, as well as Virginia. And as it bulks up and goes towards tomorrow night around 11 p.m., it gets really bad for it. North Carolina and Virginia, and this whole swath is going to move all the way towards New York. And this is a big rainmaker to this storm right here. Then it just covers New York, and thank God this rain band don't go anywhere towards anybody. But we also got the snowfall that is falling up there. And you can see that's really, really heavy snowfall. It's mostly for New Hampshire and the states in the northeast. It's not going to be for Pennsylvania and New York this time. But there's some heavy snowfall that is going to be falling for the system. Now, I'm going to bring up snowfall so you can see how much snowfall we're going to be getting in the northeast. Uh, while this is uh, loading up, I'm going to go ahead and read our verse over our Bible because it does take a minute for this to load up. It's just going to be a minute, though. It's no big rush, guys. Hope you all having a great day today. Now, last time we was on Matthew 12. This time we're on Matthew 13. The same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside. And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat. And the whole multitude stood on the shore, and he spake, he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among the thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good, good ground, and brought forth fruit and some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, We speakest thou unto them in parables. And answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the myster mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath to him shall be... Sh sh who whosoever hath... To him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not, from him shall be taken away, even away even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing, they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the, the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your eyes hear, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. 
When any one heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catcheth away in which it was sown in his heart. This is he which receives, receives seed by the wayside. But he that receiveth the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. Yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while? For when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. He also that receiveth seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and, care, and, and the care of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. But he that receiveth seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some in hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed, sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So, so the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst thou not sow good seed in thy field? From whence from whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that will that th will thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather ye ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like to, to a grain of mustard seed, which is which is which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all seeds, but when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs, and becometh a tree, so that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. Another parable spake he unto them, The kingdom of heaven is like unto, unto leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till the, whole, till the whole was leavened. All these things spake Jesus unto the multitude in parables, and without a parable spake he, uh, spake he not unto them, that it might be fulfilled which is spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables, I will utter things which have been been kept secret from the foundation of the world. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house, and his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, the good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned into the fire, so shall it be at the end of the world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels. They shall gather out, out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, and shall cast them out into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as a sun in the kingdom of their father, who hath the ears to hear, let him hear. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto the treasure hid in a field, and the which the which men the which when a man hath found hath hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath and buryeth that field that buyeth that field, sorry. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto the merchant, merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and, and sever the wicked from among the just 
and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said unto them, Have ye understood all these things they say unto him? Ye, Lord. Then, then said he unto them, Therefore every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these parables, he departed thence. And when he came into his own country, he taught them in their synagogue, insomuch that they were astonished and said, Where hath the man this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this a carp the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary and his brethren James and, and uh, Jose and Simon and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Whence then have this man all these things? And they were offended in him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. And he did not, he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day today. It is going to be a beautiful day, so keep that in your mind. Now, this snowfall is going to be a lot of snowfall, but it's not going to be as much as it looks on the map, guys. Mostly in the northeast, you're going to get three inches in some spots. Some spots is only going to get two inches. This isn't the big one. The big one comes after this. Matter of fact, after this storm is the big snowstorm, and I'll go ahead and make a video on that and show you all that. But there'll be a cold air that comes around and just scoops like a finger across the northeast, and it's going to bring negative, negative temperatures. It's going to bring, bring heavy precip uh, precipitation for snowfall. It's going to be a pretty big snowstorm. Uh, a lot of people are covering it. I will make a video for you. But most of all, I hope you all have a blessed day today. Because above anything on my channel, the part I care about the most is the Bible. Oops, sorry. It's the Bible. Because speaking the word is something we should do every day in our lives. Nothing else is, is, is important. At least, not to me. All glory does go to God. Amen, guys.